Hi everybody, how's it going? Today I have the pleasure of being here with Anthony Viveros, one of the partners here at Nolita Hall, Little Italy's great new hotspot. If you haven't been here, you guys have to come. And he's been nice enough, nice enough to let us in. How are you doing, man? Good, man. Good to see you. Thanks nice so much for coming you. in. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So we just wanted to come in and let everybody know about Nolita Hall and ask you just a few questions about, about this place because it's amazing. I love it. Thank you. So uh, how long have you guys been open? You're pretty new, right? Yeah, we opened up in uh, early May of 2018. Um, and prior to that, we've just been, been working on getting this place open before then. So yeah. Yeah. I remember when you guys opened and it was right around World Cup. Yeah. And I was coming by trying to catch the games and there was lines outside the door. World and Cup was insane. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how we got the word out so good that we love soccer. Yeah. But we got the word out so much that there were some of the games were so big that we literally had to either sell tickets or I had to have somebody at the door with a counter to make sure we weren't past our, our fire capacity. Yeah, I remember like a couple of those Mexic Mexico games that were like at 8 a.m. Insane. I came over here, it was like 7 o'clock, there's people already out there. I, I oh, said, I didn't I, come in that day because it was a little bit too packed. You're probably, you're probably smart <laughs> for that. But yeah, uh, my Medelo Tall Boys went very, very fast for those games. I did not have a lot of beer after those games, that's for sure. That was cool. I don't yeah. know how you guys did that, how you filled it up so fast, but that was really, really cool. It was cool. Yeah. So uh, how did you guys get the concept for Nolita? Like, sure. Where did that come from? I, I think, you know, first and foremost, it was really about the community and kind of what we felt was missing in a sense. Um, I think Little Italy has so much to offer. It's an yeah. amazing spot in our city. But it's hard to find a really awesome, inviting, casual, yet upscale place to, to catch a game. Um, we just went through the World Series. That was great. We had a great turnout for that. Um, but we just love the idea that you can have a really nice time if it was a really special occasion or if you wanted to be super casual and just drink some beers and have a great meeting place for friends and stuff like that so we just more than anything we really wanted to fill that niche or that gap I think that that little literally didn't have yeah I think you guys did a great job because it is if you want to watch sports you can come here if you want to come with friends and have kind of like the family dining atmosphere you also hit that and then you have the huge bar over there yeah so you kind of you hit it. And then there's a loungy area over here, so you guys really have a lot to offer. It's a huge space. Um, so I think you guys did a great job with that. Yeah, this is like sure. a VIP area for sure. Yeah. This is the bottle service, this even though cool. we don't do that. But if we <laughs> did, if you did, this, if would, we be did, this would be it. This yeah. would be it. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, so what are some of your favorite items? Obviously, the pizza is a big attraction here sure. in terms of food, right? Yeah, we have this amazing wood fired oven that we got from Italy. It's a Forza Fornai. Um, it gets up to like 900 plus degrees. Wow. Uh, so yeah, we love our pizza. Chef's always playing around with the dough and uh, just putting out new specials every week. So yeah, that is, uh, that's kind of where our heart and soul was when we first started building this. It was like, hey, let's just let's serve the best pizza in San Diego. So. You guys are doing a great job at that. I saw you guys experimenting with a new recipe just now. Yeah, he's chef. got like a five day uh, ferment on our dough, which is pretty amazing. Um, so yeah, we're, we're trying to see how it, wow. how it rises. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty impressive, yeah. So working on it all the time, trying always to make it better. Always working on it, always striving to be better, for sure. Cool. What about cocktails? What's the big hit in terms of cocktails here? Sure, yeah, we have, um, I mean, our new menu rollout, we're gonna have close to 20 craft cocktails that we can offer. Wow. Um, when we first opened, though, our, our uh, full Monte, full Montenegro, yeah. is definitely a huge hit for us. Uh, a lot of the cocktails are, are Maro inspired. Um, and so, yeah, so the full Monte is, uh, is gonna be uh, Montenegro, of course. Um, it's gonna have Coco Lopez, a little yeah. pineapple, a Lambrusco f uh, float. We put a little maraschino uh, cherry on top with a couple uh, pineapple fronds and you're set to go. So, All right, you sold me, dude. Yeah, it's really good. It's We're refreshing have to have in a life. Couple of those. Yeah, we'll have two or three. All right, let's do that. And then my last question is this uh, airplane ticker that you have there. Ah, like you guys have this sign where all the airplanes that are coming in we're able to read them from the bar. Yeah, it updates in cool. real time. Yeah. yeah, so it's actually, it's called, it's referred to as a split flap system. Um, and we got lucky enough to find this company out in Philadelphia that makes them uh, full size. We actually have the largest one on the West Coast right now, which is pretty impressive. Um, but yeah, we just linked up with the, the airport authority and it, it updates itself in real time. People come in, they have a beer or a glass of wine or a cocktail and they just wait for their loved ones to fly right over and they go, oh, check please. And that's it, they get out of there. So it's, it's, uh, it's very functional. It is. And yeah. you guys have the open ceiling. Yeah, exactly. Which shows that airplanes come in right up. So yeah. you guys embrace the whole airport yeah, that, uh, feel here. That 60 foot skylight was definitely not pre existing. We, uh, we had to open up the ceiling for that. That's cool. That's cool. There's a lot of cool architectural features here. It's really open and uh, it's a great vibe here. So if you're in Little Italy, 
or have any any intention of coming into Little Italy, make sure that you visit Nolita. Say please, hello to please, Anthony please here. Please come to Nolita. Yep. Yep. And you guys will have a great time. Great pizza. Great beer. Drinks. Awesome atmosphere. So make sure you come. All right. Thank you guys. Bye bye.